Welcome to Las Vegas for the Rusty's 400. 17 drivers trying to be the wild card in Southern Nevada with our second race here on the West Coast. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Cal Weathers and Ryan Laney. In row two, Bobby Swift and Lightning McQueen. In row three, Phil Tankson, the guy that likes to race here, and H.J. Hollis. In row four, J.D. McPillar and Bubba Wheelhouse. In row five, Brian Spark and Daniel Squarvest. In row six, hometown racer Master Dragon 4000 trying to get his second win after last week. And his teammate, Colin Bargain. In row seven, Cruz Ramirez, the October winner here, and Chase Race a lot. In row eight, Brandon Power Car and Jackson Storm, who caused an incident here back in October. And in row nine is JP Drive. Here's the race format. 14 laps, 20 miles around the 1.5 mile track, and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. It's showtime here at Las Vegas with Cal Weathers and Ryan Leaney starting in the pole. Ryan Laney getting a good start with Lightning McQueen on the inside. H.J. Hollis trying to make a third gap but instead it's behind the 95 of Lightning McQueen. Lap 1 is now complete with Ryan Laney in the lead. Ryan Laney still holding off Lightning McQueen, H.J. Hollis for the wheelhouse, and Daniel Suarez. House in the outside. A Shea Hollis and Lightning McQueen are fighting. Now it's JD McPillar. I want to join the battle and the six just slammed the wall. We're still green. The six above wheelhouse slammed the wall earlier. JD McPillar going fast. Being fast like a missile. Jay McPillar is in second place, Lightning McQueen in third. Bobby Swift is pushing his friend. Now it's Ryan Laney versus JD McPillar for the lead, and JD McPillar takes the lead. Lightning McQueen got loose. Bobby Swift to the inside. Side by side against his friend Lightning McQueen. Lightning McQueen's teammate Cruz Ramirez is in sixth place right now as I'm speaking. JD McPillar leads lap five. Now we're in lap six. Here comes Bobby Swift, Daniel Suarez, Cruz Ramirez, and Brian Spark to the inside. Meanwhile, Ryan Laney and Light McQueen are in the outside now. Here comes Bobby Swift to the outside. We're halfway there through the race with 7 out of 14 laps complete. And we got trouble! Chase Race Lab! His engine is blown up. You see all that smoke on the screen. We're still green. The officials, what they d just did was was really dumb. They should have um, thrown out the caution. Let's see what just happened. Side by side. Alright. In turn one, the engine's like, I'm getting the heck out of here. Chase race a lot. 
start smoking in the in um, turns one and two. Now entering the back stretch. His day has been ruined. Too bad for him trying to be the wild card in, in Vegas. Jaden McPillar still in the lead. Bruce Ramirez is just closing the door against the 19 of Bobby Swift. Now here's the onboard of Lightning McQueen. Alright, now back to focusing on the racers. Jaden McPillar still in the lead. Cruz Ramirez in second place. Too bad we did not do the halfway jam where we stay silent and you just um, uh, crank up the volume, listen to the cars. Now here we go with five laps to go. Cruz Ramirez trying to get her first win of the TS in 24 season. If you're wondering, did the clash count as an actual race win? Nope, because that race was an exhibition. This is a points race, Las Vegas. Jamie McPillar strong out there. Bobby Swift also trying to catch up to the 51. Cruz Ramirez has a different paint scheme because she wanted to have a Rusty's paint scheme with Dynaco, like um, uh, her teammate Lightning McQueen. And also Lightning McQueen has a special paint scheme. That's the reason why uh, but they have different paint schemes for this race, which is the Rusty's 400. Imagine Cruz Ramirez won the race. That means Rusty's has won the Rusty's 400. If that happens. But anyways, three laps to go. McPillar in the lead. Cruz Ramirez trying to close the gap. Hopefully she doesn't soil it like last week in Atlanta. Where she lost against the rookie Master Dragon 4000. Which is in 11th place right now. Is Stuart Haas racing slacking off again? Well, never mind the four JD McPillars up there. Here we go with two laps to go here in Las Vegas. Lightning McQueen right now is in sixth place. McPillar trying to obtain his first career win of the year. Instead, Cruz Ramirez is trying to not make that a reality, but here we go. Let's see if that will be a reality with J.D. McPillar checking the checkered flag right now. White flag one more time around. The Las Vegas Murder Speedway. J.D. McPillar holding off the 51 of Cruz Ramirez. Here to go battling through the Nelly straight away. Now entering turn 3 and turn 4 for the final time. JD McPillar is gonna win the Rusty's 400. Cruz Ramirez second, third Bobby Swift, fourth Daniel Suarez, and fifth Brian Spark. Congratulations to JD McPillar winning his first race of the year. And also Stuart Haas racing getting their second win of this year. Cruz Ramirez. It's a shame that he lost the race she was running pretty darn strong out there Here are the official results. The fastest car of the day is the 019 of Daniel Suarez. So it's not the race winner this time. Next Friday is the second 500 mile race in Phoenix at 3 p.m. Pacific and 6.30 Eastern. 
Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you in Phoenix. This is Lacanica127 signing out.